Today, I thought I would share with you my go-to chicken ramen recipe. He's like, what? Chicken? What? It's not made from scratch, but it does use my favorite and in my opinion, the best chicken ramen instant noodles, Iron Chef Morimoto. The recipe does require a few preparation from last night. Let's play that footage now. <gasps> we are going to be marinating the chicken. I went and bought some boneless chicken thighs with skin on because we're gonna be air frying it. I want the skin to be a little bit crispy. I have teriyaki sauce right over here, but I thought I would try something new. I saw this at Whole Foods, it looked interesting. The original Japanese barbecue sauce, I wonder what that is. The ingredients are very similar to teriyaki sauce, like it has all the teriyaki sauce stuff in it. So I thought we would try this, change it up. Squirt the sauce in the bag. Make sure the chicken gets nicely marinated. And we just stick this in the refrigerator, super easy. And back to you in the future, Ryan. Welcome back. We have our chicken here. It's been marinating. And as per instructions, we would keep the chicken outside of the refrigerator about 30 minutes before air frying. I've just been using my air fryer so much. It's so convenient. We have a little grate here that we're gonna stick inside. Okay. And then we're going to lightly spray with some cooking spray. Preheat. Okay, so other than chicken, I'll show you what I usually add to my ramen. We're gonna add egg, green onion, bamboo shoots, fish cake, and some komatsuna, skin side down. Make sure it does not overlap. We're gonna set it to 380 for 10 minutes on the first side. As for the ramen egg, the proper way of doing it is, of course, to marinate the egg overnight. But, I mean, that just makes it look really beautiful. In terms of the taste, the way that I do it is pretty much just gonna be pretty similar. And today, I bought the special premium omega-3 golden yolk. Komatsuna is kind of like a Japanese spinach, so if you don't have komatsuna, which you can get probably at an Asian market, I would suggest just going with either baby bok choy or just spinach. I think in the picture here, he just uses spinach. Ta-da! Beautiful. This only goes in for a really short time. I'm just gonna rinse it off in cold water. Just cooling it down. So far, pretty easy, right? Especially with chicken ramen, green onions. Super good. Flip it skin side up now. At 380 for six minutes. So it has that spiral Naruto design there. I'm just gonna slice a few. Water is boiling. We're ready to do the egg. Gently. Six minutes and 30 seconds, and we're starting now. I did a ramen egg vlog earlier this year. I'll put a link to that in the description below if you want to check that out. That was super good, and I actually made the eggs the proper way. This is just like the super fast hack way. The chicken just finished. We're gonna start on the ramen then. This. Oh, perfect. Look how beautiful that turned out. Once these eggs are done, we are going to stick them into cold water and stop the cooking process. Once this ramen is done cooking, it gets overcooked very, very fast. So let's to cook it for three minutes. I'm gonna cook it for two and a half minutes. So in here we have the noodles and the sauce packets. This is what the noodles look like. You just kind of like mix it around. We have the noodles here. This is called menma, which is bamboo shoots that have been marinating. You can make this, but I would say if you can't find it, it's whatever. Fish cake here. Oh. You guys ready to see the golden egg? Oh, look at that egg. Here it is, my go-to chicken ramen. Woo, look at that. And this shichimi ramen pepper is one of the things that you gotta add. It makes it taste a little bit more spicy. Okay, let's get to eating. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. The chicken has like that slightly sweet, salty 
teriyaki sauce flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. The skin on the chicken, because it was air fried, is a little bit crispy. The Tokyo chicken ramen flavor, it's really good. Um, the, the broth has like a lot of different complexities. It is like the tiniest bit sweet. I feel like it's like, it tastes kind of like a sweet onion kind of broth. So that's my go-to chicken ramen. Um, if you are interested in making it, of course you don't have to have all the ingredients, you can substitute stuff. Don't worry, I'll get you something good later. Venison green tripe. Welcome to the park you guys, it's finally nice and sunny and blue outside. Every day I find more stuffing on the floor from all the toys that Gatsby throws away. Do you guys get stuffing on your floor? I found the culprit. It's the donut. There's so much stuffing on the floor here. Every day it clogs the robot vacuum, Gatsby. It's like, yeah, so? Okay. Time to play a song. Time to water all the plants. Gatsby, we gotta water this plant. Okay, who gets water today? We have to water the herbs like every day or else they start to wilt. Basil here. Get some water. Yeah, everyone gets some water today. Okay, we watered the plants. We did it, Gatsby. High five. High five. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the project that I've been working on. It requires really, really, really good weather. And <laughs> if you know in the Bay Area right now, the weather has been all over the board. We got about a third of it done, but it's definitely just taking up so much time. So I've just been so busy. Thank you so much for all of your patience, you guys. Gatsby, what is this? Right now, the gyms in the Bay Area have finally been allowed to open at 10% capacity, which is not that much. Today is gonna be some leg day. See you guys there. Okay. Oh, 
I got a good leg workout in and nobody was in there, which was nice. <laughs> It's time to ship out some more orders. I want to thank these awesome people right over here. Thank you so much for supporting Getsy and me. Rebecca's order. She ordered a neon rainbow tie-dye t-shirt and also a black tie-dye t-shirt. She also ordered these awesome face masks. They are running out, so if you want to get one, make sure to go to quirkyontweek.com at the end of the vlog. I'm gonna continue shipping out all the orders. Hey Aquarium, I'm so sorry I've been neglecting you so much. Here, let me scrape the algae off the glass with my magnet cleaner. We're gonna feed the fish and the coral. It looks like toxic waste. And we're like, oh my gosh, the food! This clownfish, the baby one, seems to be getting a lot more brave. He's swimming out. He used to only just stay and hide inside of his anemone home. But now he is out and about to grab food. I'll give you an aquarium fact really quickly. Fish actually need oxygen and get oxygen in water. If you notice in a lot of aquariums, there is either an air stone, which has like little bubbles that cause bubbles to arise, or you need something like this where it agitates the water so that the water and the air mix. During a power outage, you need to keep the water mixed and aerated because otherwise, all the fishies would die in a few hours. I have one pump and the heater hooked up to a backup battery right over here. And so when the power goes out, it still keeps those two things on. Just some quick aquarium knowledge. That chicken ramen was so good. Okay, now it's time for us to play a little game with my friend Sean, who we haven't seen in a while. So we're gonna do charades like old times. And we, I thought we would do the animal ones because those seem really hard. Tail, as a tail. I'm a mouse, duh, <laughs> I'm joking. No, it was actually a rat. I decided to do the ratatouille thing at the end with the... It's like small little bird, a dead bird. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, oh, oh, a bat, it's a bat. Yes. Oh, I have such hard ones. Ah, oh, you're never gonna get this one. <laughs> Why is it listen? No. Stop. You're not getting any of mine. <laughs> yeah, what is that? <gasps> I'm having a vision! <laughs> no? No. Raven. <laughs> <laughs> I said you're not gonna get it! <laughs> I'm getting all the easy ones. Like, this next one is so easy. A horse? Yep. <laughs> Why are you getting such easy ones? Uh, it looks like you're doing a horse, or a mule, or a... Smaller, what's a smaller horse? A donkey, a mule? Oh my uh, gosh. <laughs> what's a baby horse? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's over. You're on the right track with a smaller horse, because it is a smaller what? horse. Which is... A pony! Oh, man. <laughs> That's not my fault. That's your oh, fault. Man. That's your fault. A rattlesnake? A fish? Fishing? The bait? It's a worm? Yeah. Ah! Uh... Like a koala or something? You got it! You got it! <laughs> Thanks. 
for playing, Sean. I hope you guys guess, got some too. Make sure to check out Sean's channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. It was nice seeing you. <laughs> That's gonna do it for us for today's vlog. Thank you so much for all of your patience. We've been so incredibly busy. Hopefully it'll calm down soon. Make sure if you wanna get our Corgi and Fleek face masks or the puzzles or the tie-dye t-shirts, make sure to go to corgionfleek.com. I updated the store so it's a lot easier now when you click on the product to be able to see um, what products are in stock. So hopefully that will help a lot of people. Anyway, we're gonna head to bed now. See you guys in the next video. Good night! So in one of my previous vlogs, I did a video on what Gatsby's reaction will be when I eat out of his dog bowl.